Are you new to finance and trying to find the best credit card for you? Well then this video is perfect for you. Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cody and I am so excited to return with another personal finance video for you this week. It's been far too long since our last credit card video, so today we're diving into the best credit cards for beginners. Whether you have no credit history at all or are new to building credit, there's sure to be a card in this video that will be perfect for you. But before we get into them, please just do me a huge favor by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Every little bit helps and I really appreciate the support. Thanks again and let's get right into today's topic. Before we cover the absolute best credit cards for beginners, I think we need to have a quick discussion about building credit in the first place. A credit score is a three digit number that basically acts as a financial report card. It tells banks, lenders, and other financial institutions how responsible you are when it comes to money. Credit scores range from 850, which is perfect and means that you're a financial god, all the way down to 300, which is as bad as it gets. Credit scores are one of those hidden things that secretly controls a lot of your opportunities in life. Credit scores affect your chances of borrowing money, applying for jobs, accumulating wealth, and even renting a nice place to live. I made a whole video about this topic a few weeks ago, and if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the bio. But basically, all of this goes to show just how important credit scores really are. And that's where credit cards come in. If used responsibly, they could be a powerful tool to build your credit over time until you eventually attain a perfect score. And that's why it's so important to get a credit card early and learn good habits with it. The longer you have a credit card, the better your score will be. That's because a significant portion of your credit score is based on the average age of your accounts. Basically, banks want to see that you have a long history of paying all of your bills off on time before they'll give you a high credit score. The earliest you can take out a credit card is when you turn 18, and I highly recommend doing so. Your score will grow and grow over time as you learn how to manage your money, and eventually it'll reach near perfect levels. Maybe one of the following cards can help you get started on your journey. In this video, we're gonna work our way up. The first few cards are those that are for people with no credit or very poor credit. Eventually, we'll work our way towards the most exclusive beginner cards, that have the best rewards. The first credit card on this list is designed for people with little to no credit history. This could be a great card for a beginner who is just starting out on their credit building journey. This card is the Discover It Secured card. Like I said before, this card is really designed for people with no credit history. Usually when you're applying for a new credit card, a bank will check your credit score and credit history to determine whether or not they want to open an account for you. But if you don't have any credit history, then that can be a bit of a problem. The Discover It Secured card gets around this by requiring a deposit when you first sign up. You'll give Discover $200, and in return, they'll give you a credit card with a $200 limit. After a few months of owning the card and proving that you're responsible, Discover will usually give you the $200 back and increase your credit limit. From there, the card is pretty much just the normal credit card, and you can use it to build up your credit over time. But there are two extra benefits to this card. The first is the rewards. Rewards among secured credit cards are usually pretty rare, but this Discover card gives 1% cash back on every purchase and 2% cash back at restaurants and gas stations for up to $1,000 every quarter. With this reward structure, Discover is basically rewarding people for building up their credit and taking charge of their personal finances. The other cool benefit is that this card has no annual fee. Some credit cards have an annual fee where they charge you a sum once a year to keep your account open, but the Discover It Secured card doesn't do this. That's why I think this card is perfect for beginners. You get rewards, you don't pay an annual fee, and on top of that, Discover is known to be a great credit card company with excellent customer service and automatic credit limit increases. If you don't have any credit history, I highly recommend that you consider the Discover It Secured card. In a similar vein are the Pedal Visa cards. These cards are also catered towards people with no or very limited credit history. The Pedal One No Annual Fee Visa credit card is like the Discover card in that it's catered towards people with no credit history at all. But the Pedal One card sets itself apart by not requiring a deposit. You could just go out and sign up for this card with no money down. You'll start with a set credit limit that gradually increases over time, 
and you'll pay no annual fee. The Pedal One also has cash back options as well. You can earn between 2 to 10% at select merchants. All of that makes it an ideal starter card for beginners. The Pedal 2 Cashback No Fees Visa Card is like the big brother of the Pedal 1. It also doesn't require a security deposit and has no annual fee. It also has some pretty great perks to go along with it. You earn 1% cashback on every purchase right away, and this number goes up to 1.5% after you make 12 on-time monthly payments. You also get to earn that 2 to 10% cash back at select merchants that we saw with the Pedal 1. But what I really think stands out about both of the Pedal cards is their use of a cash score. For customers that want a Pedal card but have no prior credit history, Pedal can look at your bank account information to see if you have a history of paying your bills on time and maintaining account minimums. If they like what they see, then they'll give you a credit card with no prior credit history. This feature is super unique and great for beginners. Basically, I think those that are new to the credit card game have two options to choose from. You can go with a Discover It Secured and give them a $200 deposit that will eventually be refunded in exchange for 1-2% to cash back. Or you can apply for the Pedal 1 Visa using their cash score system. You won't have to pay a security deposit, but your rewards will be slightly less. Then after you've built up your credit for a little while, maybe you can apply for the Pedal 2 Visa that has better rewards. Regardless which of these you choose, I think all three are great options for the absolute newbie that has no credit history. Okay, so now that you've picked out a beginner credit card, you could spend some time paying off your bills in full and keeping your spending to a minimum. After a while, your credit score will gradually increase until you could start to move into the territory of better credit cards. These next three cards exist in that territory. You won't be able to apply for them right away with poor or no credit. Instead, you'll need to work your way towards them. In my eyes, they basically exist in the higher tier of beginner credit cards because they offer no annual fee, but have great rewards and give you the chance to build up your credit even higher. The first of these second tier beginner credit cards is the Discover It Cash Back. Your score will need to be in the 6 to 700 range before you'll be accepted for this card, but it brings some pretty great perks to the table. This card gives you 5% cash back on rotating quarterly categories. These include grocery stores and gyms, gas stations and Target, restaurants and PayPal, Amazon, Walmart.com, and Target.com purchases. Clearly, there's a wide variety in their rewards categories, and you earn 5% back on all of it. On top of that, there's no annual fee, and you earn 1% cash back on every purchase you make outside of those categories. This is also the first card we've seen that offers a sign-up bonus. After the first year that your account has been open, Discover will match all of the cash back you earn with no limit. That means that if you earn $300 in cash back in your first year of having the card, Discover will match that figure and give you another $300 on top of it. That's a pretty amazing and unique intro offer, and you could stand to make a lot of money if you take advantage of it. This is the first of the three upper tier beginner credit cards, and you can already see some of the amazing rewards that a high credit score will bring you. Next up is one of the best credit cards out there. This card is legitimately amazing, it should be owned by everybody, beginner or not. This card is the City Double Cash. This is another credit card that will require a higher credit score. You'll probably need to be in the high 600s or 700s to be accepted. But I think the rewards make the work worth it. The City Double Cash is simple. You get 2% cash back on every purchase you make. You get 1% back when you make the purchase and another 1% back when you pay your bill. There's no cash back cap, meaning that you can earn as much as you want and there's also no annual fee. The City Double Cash doesn't offer a sign-up bonus, which is a downside that can be forgiven. Its 2% cash back rate for every purchase is pretty much the highest I've seen for a free credit card. Sure, some credit cards offer higher cash back percentages in specific categories, but the City Double Cash offers the highest blanket cash back percentage that I've ever seen. This is an absolute must have for any beginner trying to build up their credit score and you'll earn a lot of cash back rewards while you're doing it. The final second tier beginner credit card is one of my personal favorites. I've had it for about a year and I couldn't be happier. It's another card that I think absolutely everyone should own. This is the Chase Freedom Flex. This card pretty much combines all the best parts of the other cards on this list. There's a sign up bonus. If you spend $500 within the first three months of opening your account, you get $200. There are cash back categories. You earn 5% cash back on rotating quarterly categories like Amazon, 
grocery stores, gas stations, and phone and streaming services. On top of that, you get a constant 3% cash back at restaurants and drug stores, and 1% cash back on every other purchase you make. To sweeten the deal even further, there's no annual fee. This card is absolutely loaded with perks. It's probably one of the best free credit cards in the market, but like the others, your score will need to be in the six or 700 range to be accepted. So those are the six cards that are great for beginners. If you're just starting out and are completely new to building credit and credit cards, I think you should pick up either the Discover It Secured or the Pedal One Visa. Both of them will help you start building up credit if you have no prior history and you'll earn some rewards while you're at it. After you've been paying off your bills for a little while and your score has gone up, maybe you could pick up the Pedal Two Visa because it has slightly better rewards than the first two. From there, however, you'll need to faithfully keep your spending to a minimum and pay off your bills on time. If you do these things consistently, then your credit score will slowly increase until you can eventually move into the upper tier of beginner credit cards, and I think you should get all three. The Discover It Cash Back and the Chase Freedom Flex both give 5% cash back on rotating quarterly categories that don't usually overlap. This means that the Discover card might be giving 5% cash back on gas, while the Chase card might be giving 5% cash back on Amazon purchases. This will really allow you to rack up as much cash back as possible by covering all of your potential spending categories. Then you could pick up the City Double Cash as well. This will give you a flat 2% cash back rate on every category not covered by the Discover and Chase cards. Once you have all three, you'll be earning high cash back on pretty much everything you buy, and you can use that cash back on things like travel, gifts, or anything else that you want. That's why it pays to get a beginner credit card and start the process early. The more time you have, the higher your credit score will be, and the better perks you'll get. And that's all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new about getting a beginner credit card and which one will work well for you. I think people will often demonize credit cards because they're very easy to lose track of and rack up lots of debt. But as long as you spend responsibly, they could be a pretty fantastic tool to level up your credit score and unlock some amazing perks for yourself along the way. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again very soon.